Welcome to this Hope To Go. Today I want to talk to you about new life makeover. I got a question. Have you ever been frustrated with you? Wanting desperately to be a better person? Disappointed because you really wanted to break a destructive or negative pattern or habit in your life, but you couldn't? If you feel the odds are stacked against you, against all odds, I've got good news for you today. Our dissatisfaction and disappointment is God's appointment for a new life makeover. Let me give you some truth for your new life makeover. Number one, if you're dissatisfied against all odds, number one, a new life starts with new ownership. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14, the New Living Translation teaches us Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. He died for everyone so that those who receive this new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them. Big Hope Newsflash, if you could change your old life or break negative cycles and patterns in your life by yourself, you would have no need for God. God knew you needed help to overcome your past and your sin condition. That's why he says in Matthew 11, 28, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He goes on in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he says, therefore, if anyone, that means you, that means me, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, when we're born again, immediately God's spirit comes into our heart and our spirit is changed, but our intellect, our emotions and will only are changed by the word of God. That's why Romans two says it this way, and do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is good and acceptable and perfect in the perfect will of God. Hey, be is new ownership means you get a new identity. I love this. Second Corinthians 521 says, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Jesus became orphaned from God that we might become children of God. If you're listening to me today and you receive this truth, your new identity enables you to now by faith claim the promises of God in the word of God as your own. Now let me repeat myself. When Jesus comes into a heart, he starts a spiritual transformation, but you can only find this new identity as you open up and get into God's love letter to you, his playbook. Through the supernatural word of God, the Bible, your identity is defined and becomes clear. Lunch bucket Christianity, you begin to eat it, you become strong because you are what you eat. And then finally, see, a new identity means a new purpose. You got a new purpose, baby. Second Corinthians chapter 5, 18, it says, now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Now, God is a God of purpose. The moment that you receive your new identity, your new purpose is to awaken eternity in the hearts of others who are where you were. It's like this. We were beggars who found bread, and now our new assignment is to help other beggars find the same amazing bread that we have found ourselves. Jesus is the bread of life, and he alone satisfies and sustains, and we have this new ministry to tell everybody else how good he is. This new life starts now, and that's your hope to go. Mm.